In the realm of artificial intelligence, we've seen robots that assemble cars, serve customers, and even play video games. But now imagine a robot breaking into the world of fine arts. China has admitted its first humanoid robot into a top-tier drama and film PhD program. A robot is going to pursue a doctorate in arts. The robot in question is named Zuba One, which translates to Robot Classmate One. It stands at a height of 1.75 meters, weighs 30 kilograms, and is equipped with a range of features that make it remarkably human-like. It has silicone skin, a handsome face, and the ability to mimic legendary peaking. Opera moves, but Zuba One isn't just any ordinary robot. It's a trailblazer in the field of AI robotics. It has already achieved recognition by winning third place. In the world's first humanoid half marathon held in April, the event saw the participation of 14 humanoid robots from eight countries, pushing the boundaries of what these machines can accomplish. This remarkable robot is taking on a new challenge, studying at the prestigious Shanghai Theater Academy, one of China's most esteemed drama and film schools. Here, Zuba One will immerse itself in the world of traditional Chinese opera, stage performance, and even script writing. The robot will spend the next four years absorbing knowledge and honing its skills under the guidance of experienced professors. The decision to admit Zuba O1 to the PhD program reflects the growing interest in artificial intelligence and its potential to revolutionize various industries, including the arts. It provides a unique opportunity to explore the intersection of technology and traditional Chinese culture. The news has generated significant buzz both within the academic community and among the general public. Some have expressed skepticism, questioning whether a robot can truly appreciate and perform traditional Chinese opera. At the level of a PhD candidate, others see this as a bold step towards integrating AI into creative fields, believing that robots can bring a unique perspective and innovation to the arts. One person who is particularly excited about this development is Professor Yang Qingqing, Zuba O1's mentor. In a recent interview, Professor Yang shared his thoughts on the matter. He expressed confidence in the robot's abilities and highlighted its potential to contribute to the field of AI opera. According to him, Zubo One is expected to graduate with a PhD in three to five years and could potentially work as an AI opera director or even establish its robotic art studio in the future. However, not everyone is as enthusiastic. Some critics argue that art forms like traditional Chinese opera require a deep understanding of human emotions, life experiences, and cultural nuances that a robot, no matter how advanced, cannot replicate. They believe that true artistic expression comes from the human touch, and that robots can never truly replace the creativity and soul that humans bring to their work. Additionally, there are concerns about the allocation of resources and opportunities. Some people worry that the acceptance of AI robots into academia will divert attention and funding away from struggling human. PhD students, many of whom work long and irregular hours for a monthly income of less than $420. There is also the question of how AI robots will be perceived by audiences and whether they can ever be seen as equals to human artists. Despite the mixed reactions, the admission of Zubo One to the Shanghai Theater Academy is a significant milestone for AI robotics in China. It opens up new possibilities for the integration of robots in creative industries and challenges the boundaries of what these machines can achieve. As Zubo One embarks on its journey through the world of traditional Chinese opera, it will undoubtedly face numerous challenges and push the limits of its capabilities. Only time will tell how well the robot performs and whether it can live up to the expectations set by its creators and supporters. What do you think of this development? Will AI artists be accepted as equals to humans? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more upgrades on artificial intelligence and other tech-related topics.